One of the exciting things about aquaculture in the state is how fast it's growing. We are the fastest growing food production method in the world, and in the state of Maine, aquaculture is growing roughly 2.4% uh, per year on an annual basis. One of the most interesting things about aquaculture in the state of Maine is how diverse it is. We grow over 20 different species of uh, plants and animals and uh, use roughly 10 to 12 different production methods on any given year. We have a big group of new young farmers coming into the sector. The average age of a, a farmer in aquaculture in the state of Maine is 36 years old. So we are the new young face of the working waterfront in Maine. I've really never had, I guess, a real job. I've always been sort of independent. Grew up on Islesboro and started lobstering when I was 11. Graduated from Islesboro Central School and then went to the University of Maine. Uh, got a resource agribusiness management degree. Uh, came back and went fishing. Kept lobstering. Then my wife got interested in aquaculture. The next thing you know, we started a mussel farm. We have nine rafts total two sites. Right now there's roughly six rafts full of product and three rafts full of seed. All of our seed is caught wildly um, by placing ropes in the water column where we feel the wild seed set's going to come through um, and then they, they naturally set on the mussel rope and then we grow them out from there. Aquaculture has been a new industry for Islesboro. We're very much still on the ramp up side of things. Our first year we sold, we harvested 700 pounds. And our second year we harvested 7,000 pounds. And you know we're just this year getting to a point where we're harvesting 7,000 pounds a month. Um, and we hope to grow, to grow that. We have five employees, three full time, and then two part time. You know, these farms are producing enough product that you have to get out of the state. Uh, so it makes it a year-round job instead of just something that's maybe seasonal. I wanted to work on the water. I wanted to continue in uh, a tradition that's been in my family for a long time. And I view aquaculture as an extension a way to preserve that tradition of working on the water. I grow uh, American oysters in the Scarborough River primarily and uh, grow it out in mostly floating containers, uh, floating bags until uh, year two, in which case it comes out to Cape Elizabeth and goes, uh, goes onto the bottom. I also grow sea scallops off Cape Elizabeth. People want to live on the water. It's not necessarily just the amazing natural beauty, but it's also to be a witness of sort of that traditional experience and to see people out working or sailing or farming oysters. So we've been operating in Maine for about 20 years now. Cook is a family-owned uh, business uh, that started out uh, over 35 years ago raising uh, Atlantic salmon uh, in the ocean. It was a fairly new concept at the time. It started with 5,000 fish and the company has grown, uh, expanded to have operations uh, around the world. People are looking for healthy, local, fresh seafood uh, produced here in the state of Maine. Uh, so our challenge is to meet that demand and what we've seen is that we're able to diversify the working waterfront in Maine. Oh, I'm very proud of what I do. It's enabled me to stay in the community because a lot of us, when we started, when we come to work in the aquaculture, we had left the, the fishing industry. Like I had to go to a mill and you know, and I, you know, I was happy there, but when I had a chance to come back and work around the water, we have 288 employees right now that work directly for Cook Aquaculture, and plus there's a lot of spin-off from contractors and vendors. And the, the aquaculture industry has allowed me to live the American dream. It really has. My family are close. I have a good job. I have a nice home, and, um, and I enjoy going to work every day.
The water is changing, the world is changing, and in order to continue to be who we are, we have to find new ways of staying on the water. Ocean Approved was started as the first commercial kelp farm. We renamed it Atlantic Sea Farms, and basically the model is we work with these 24 four fishermen along the coast, um, or aquaculturists, and these folks are getting their own leases, and we're training them on how to harvest, how to farm. Keith is this person, he's been kelp farming now for three years, which makes him one of the few fishermen out there that have been farming for that long in Maine, so he's a real pioneer. I've always diversified as long as I've been fishing, and lobstering isn't the only thing because it has a tendency to go up and down. And so we try to get into another project, not just solely have one project going. It fits into my lobstering season better than anything else. You don't have to work at the kelp season during the summertime and early fall, and that's when lobstering is prime. One thing that people can be a little bit resistant to is the idea that we're fishing the sea, now we're farming the sea. But the reality is we used to fish here in Maine for several different species. And we have an economy that is almost completely dependent on lobster that is increasingly vulnerable to climate change. In order to be who we are and stay on the water and make money on the water and be the mariners that we've always been, we need to continue to look to diversify. And that's what aquaculture is going to give us the option to do. So Maine aquaculture has been around for over 45 years uh, and we're really charting a new way into Maine's future. The Maine brand is worth something. People know that Maine seafood is some of the best seafood in the world. And so we get paid a little more uh, than our competitors from other parts of the world and other parts of the, the country. By producing local healthy seafood and delivering it direct to consumers and building the Maine brand, uh, we're helping build Maine's future.